This week, I'm going to talk about the top four things that I've learned since starting my health journey, because I'm hoping that by telling you about this, it'll help you to get there a little bit faster. Hi, welcome back to Love, Laugh, and Lose Weight. This is Leanne, your host. I've been on this health program for almost six months now, so let's get started. Number one thing that I've learned, this is really important, we cannot modify all of our lifestyle choices at once. Just last week I said that I'd been doing really well on my walking and my vegetable eating and all of that stuff, and so I was going to add a small thing. The small thing I added to my health program was no unhealthy snacks at the bridge club. Guess what? That was hard. On Monday, I went and played bridge. The whole time, I'm sitting there trying to play my cards, but I'm thinking, Go. Leanne, you don't need a cookie. That was one unhealthy habit that I'm trying to change. One, don't eat snacks at the bridge club. I didn't even say don't eat snacks, ever. I can eat them at the movies. Simply don't eat them at the bridge club. That's a baby step. And imagine, if I was trying to do that at the same time that I was trying to walk 12,000 steps and drink my water, eat my vegetables, don't eat candy, and now I've added no snacks at the bridge club. There's no way you can do everything at once if you want these to be lifestyle cho choices. So we got to change things one unhealthy habit at a time. You don't need to rush it. Get, get used to that one thing and then add something else. So maybe start with eating your vegetables or eating more vegetables. After you're really used to it, you've been eating them every day for like a month or two months, then no snacks at the bridge club. Well, you probably don't even play bridge, but whatever it is, you know where you eat your snacks, right? Add that. You can't do everything at once. Number two, most. Almost all of your, of your baby step lifestyle changes should be on the must do list rather than on the can't do list. Okay? Here's what I mean by that. Not eating candy is more difficult than ensuring that I eat my vegetables. So, for example, I, I used to eat popcorn for dinner probably three nights a week, but now I never said I can't have popcorn for dinner. I can have it, so I'm not feeling deprived, but I better eat my vegetables first because I got to eat my vegetables, so I'll have my vegetables and then I'll have my popcorn. Well, guess what? By the time you're done with your vegetables and maybe you've had some something to go with the vegetables, you don't even feel like the popcorn anymore. So you haven't deprived yourself, but you don't feel like it anymore. Because eating my vegetables is on the must-do list. Drinking my water is on the must-do list. Not eating candy is on the can't-do list. You should have very few things on the can't-do list because those things that you probably shouldn't do so much, most of them will happen naturally when you must eat your vegetables or must eat your fruit or must take your walks. By the time you're finished with all the must-dos, the can't-dos will happen, will tend to happen naturally. A few of them might not, a few might linger, and you might have to do a can't-do, but try to have your list be primarily must-do and very little can't-do. Number three, this is really important. Success. Success is not measured by weight loss. Weight loss will happen. I've been losing weight very, very slowly because this is a lifestyle change. Success is not measured by weight loss. Success is when you start to feel your attitude changing. You start to feel like, oh, 
I'm a foodie. Last week I said, you know what? I think I'm becoming a foodie. I actually like to drizzle on my little uh, asparagus, have a few morsels of food sometimes. I'm thinking, oh, this is good. So my attitude is actually changing. I love doing my walks now. I love them. I've been doing them for about four and a half months since February, because in January I didn't, I hadn't added exercise yet. I started my health program in January. In February, I added walks. I love them. Doing my walks is one of my favorite things to do now. I, I feel good. I feel good while doing it. I get a little bit of endorphins. And so success is when my attitude starts to change. In other words, new lifestyles are starting to sink in and take hold, and they're not feeling like um, I'm forcing it or I'm doing it out of willpower. It's like brushing your teeth. When you were a kid, you probably thought, oh, I hate brushing my teeth. But eventually it felt normal. Of course you're going to brush your teeth. Same with eating your vegetables or drinking your water. Now it's starting to feel normal. That's how we measure success, not by the number on the scale. I feel so strongly about that that about a month ago, I gave my scale away. I know I'm losing a little bit of weight. I can tell my Fitbit, for example, I had to increase the... Uh, the button that it goes on, so my wrist has gotten smaller. Hello, losing some weight, but that's not the goal. And a corollary to number three, that success is measured by you starting to feel different or change your attitude. A corollary is no fad diets. I'm sure you've all done diets where you, you, probably a lot of you have lost 300 or more pounds in your life, haven't you? You've lost 300 pounds. You're still overweight. Why? Because fad diets are a temporary fix. They're not changing the way you think. We need to change the way we think. So I've done cabbage soup diet. I've done, I don't know, soup broth diet. I've done high protein, low carb diet. You've probably done a lot of these too, and most of them I've lost weight. I've lost weight a couple, two, three weeks, maybe even a month if I was really, really, you know, having a lot of willpower. I might stick to a diet, lose some weight. Guess what? Gain it all back. Gain it all back. I'm sure you can relate to that. We can't have fat, fat diets because we're changing the way we think. We're changing our lifestyle. This has to be happening one unhealthy habit at a time. In other words, pick one of your unhealthy habits. No snacks at the bridge club. It's got to be small. I didn't say no snacks. I said no snacks at the bridge club. That's the unhealthy habit. Change that one, you know, because that in itself is hard enough. We don't need to do big, big steps. Changing your habits is really hard. So you got to do it slow and with baby steps. And those are the top four things that I've learned since starting my health program. I'm going to list them again right now. I hope that I've said some things that have resonated with you and that uh, it will help you continue on your health journey. Meanwhile, I love you a whole lot. I'm rooting for your success. I'm rooting for my success. I'm feeling good. When I feel good, it makes it easier for me to feel love and care for you. I will see you next week. Bye.